Car A leaves the train station heading north at 40 miles per hour. A half hour later, car B leaves the same train station heading north at 60 miles per hour. When does car B pass car A? So first thing I like to do is draw a diagram. And let me see if I can show you. So here's car A. It's going, okay, like this direction, okay? And then what happens is that car B leaves a half hour later, but it's going faster. So eventually it's gonna catch up to the first car. Makes sense, right? So when car B catches up to car A, they've traveled the exact same distance, right? And one of the key formulas that uh, you wanna know when you're doing these problems is the distance equals rate times time formula, right? So it's the rate, which is the speed, right? For how long? Okay, you multiply those together and you get the distance traveled. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing these problems is I like to make a little chart to help organize the data and help you to write your equations a little bit easier. And so what I usually do is I go like this. I make a little chart, okay? And I've got like this, I've got rate times time equals distance. So all I did was take that equation and flip it. And here we're gonna have car A, and here we're gonna have car B. So I'm just gonna kind of divide these up like this. Okay, so you see our chart? Okay, so car A heads north at 40 miles per hour, so its rate is 40. And we don't know how long it's been traveling, we're just gonna call that T. And when we multiply those together, 40 times T gives you the distance, which is 40T. Okay, you with me so far? Car B leaves a half hour later, so it's been traveling for a half hour less time, right? So T minus one half, but it's traveling at 60 miles per hour, it's faster, right? So here, when you multiply the rate times the time, you get a distance of 60 times t minus 1 half. Now, like we were talking about originally here, eventually when car B catches up to car A, they're gonna have traveled the same amount of distance. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna set those uh, two distances equal to each other, and we're gonna solve that equation. So let's go ahead and do that here. So 40t equals 60 times t minus 1 half, I'm gonna distribute the 60, so that gives you 60t minus 30 equals 40t. If I subtract the 60t, that gives me negative 20t equals negative 30, and if I divide by negative 20, t gives us three halves, which is basically one and a half hours, okay? So when we go back, okay, one and a half hours, that's how long car A was traveling for, see T equals one and a half. But car B has only been traveling for one and a half minus a half, one hour, right? So it says, when does car B pass car A? Well, it would be an hour and a half after car A started, but only an hour after car B started. Now, if you wanted to find the distance, how long it took, you could then put back in one and a half, okay? And you can see that's gonna be what? One and a half times 40 is uh, 60, so they will both have traveled 60 miles. So I hope you uh, learned something from this video. Check out the other couple of videos in this series. I'll have links you know, up above uh, to find out about when vehicles are traveling opposite directions and when one's going one direction and then returning the same direction. So subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in some of the future videos and I'll, I'll talk to you soon.